Hey cool kids, Mr. Steve here, and I just realized something. We only have a couple of days more of school. Isn't that crazy? The last couple of months we've been doing this online learning stuff and it's worked out pretty well. It's all right, we can do this. But I, when I realized that summer was right around the corner, we only had a, and we only had a few more days of, uh, of kind of regular school, I wanted to talk to you about something. Now, I don't know if you're gonna do this or not. Most of you probably won't, but I'm hoping that a few of you will. There's a thing that if you're an artist is really, really important and a lot of fun. A little bit of work, but a lot of fun. And it's called an artist journal or an artist sketchbook. Now, you've probably heard about people keeping a journal or keeping a diary, right? That's a book that's like all words all the time. Just write, 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 like fill in like your thoughts and your hopes and your dreams. But there's also a thing called an artist sketchbook or a sketchbook. And a lot of people think that a sketchbook is only drawings, only sketches. There's something in between those two that crosses over and blends them together. And that is an artist journal or an artist sketchbook. When I discovered that you could combine those two things, um, it was like, bing, great, great ideas just exploded in my head. So here is, a, here is my most current artist sketchbook. I used to call it my fishing journal or my fishing log because whenever I'd go on uh, canoe camping trips or fishing trips, I'd write about it here in my book. But I realized that it's not just that because I draw in here and I put hopes and dreams and thoughts and stuff. So I'm going to take a few minutes today to show you some of my uh, artist sketchbooks and show you some of the different styles of sketchbooks with the hope that maybe your mom or your dad or maybe you take your allowance money uh, and you will go out and purchase and get your own artist sketchbook because they're really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna switch the camera looking down so you guys can see some of the different styles of sketchbooks that are out there. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to take a few minutes and show you some of my artist sketchbooks. Um, when I went through this process, I've got an old bookshelf in one of the rooms and um, I just kind of stacked my old journals, um, artist sketchbooks up in there. This is the most re uh, recent one I've been working on. Uh, I put a sticker on the front of it. But what I want to show you guys, and this is like a really fancy, nice book that my sister gave me. Um, and there's a whole story behind that. But um, artist sketchbooks, artist journals, they are just for you. They're not for anybody else. It's a book. It's a place for you to write down words like a diary or stories or ideas or what you did one day. If you have a memory or something that you want to remember, maybe you had a fantastic day playing with your best friend and you went to Six Flags or you had a great birthday or something, um, get a journal, uh, get a sketchbook, write it down, put the date in there and just make a little note of it because uh, years from now, it's always fun to come back and look at them. So here's my most recent one. Um, look at this crazy stuff inside here. So this is just the, um, the inside cover. And you know how important I think doodling is. That's why I'm always uh, showing you guys these doodle lessons. But we'll talk about this in a minute. Well, actually, we'll talk about it right now. The single most important thing, once you have decided which kind of journal that you want, which kind of artist sketchbook you want, is on the inside cover, you need to write your name. This book belongs to Steve Shaw. You put your name inside there. Um, also put a phone number, your mom's phone number, your dad's phone number, both your mom's and your dad's phone number. Um, I put a little note inside mine because I take this with me if I'm ever like in a, going on a trip somewhere. If I'd lost this in an airport, if somebody picked it up, I would want somebody to know how to get it back to me. So it says, um, Steve Shaw, if found, please call me at, and there's my phone number, I'll pay shipping. I'll give you a reward. I'll tell everyone I know what a great person you are. I'll do pretty much whatever it takes to get this book back. Thanks, Steve. So um, that's the note. If, if you ever lose your book, somebody can get it back to you. I also put a little note up here so later on I'll know when I started my, uh, my journal, my sketchbook. And it started in 2015. So I've been writing and drawing in this book for uh, about five years now. Now, I realized when I went through here, most of what I've been doing in this book, ooh, that's when I turned 50 years old. I'm so old. Um, that most of this for me at this point or stage of my life, I've been writing more than drawing. But even when I'm writing, I'm putting funny little things in here. I'm writing big. But this book is just, oh, here we go. Here's a picture of how to lay stuff out of my canoe when I do one of my canoe trips. I did a picture, a little drawing of me when I was hanging out at the beach on one of my canoe trips. 
all right? It's totally sloppy. Is this a finished drawing? No, it's just an idea. And that's what your artist sketchbook or journal is for, is just to put some ideas in there. What else have I got in here? Oh, I was paddling down a river. This cute little otter popped its head up. So I was like, hey, that was really cute. Um, I just did a quick little sketch of that in there and I wanted to remember that moment. And when I have it written down, I do. I find that so much in my life, I forget and it's still in my head, but I just don't recall it. And then when I do something like this, oh, there's my daughter when she was graduating high school. Um, I'll put little things in here. So like I said, it's like a journal, but you draw in it and you just kind of keep a record of your life in here and it's really cool. Um, I highly recommend doing this. One thing I wanted to show you, I opened an old trunk a couple of years ago and I found this old spiral, um, kind of inexpensive sketchbook, but look at that. This, I did that when I was 14 years old, right? So, and you kind of, like I said, keep track of your life, keep track of what's going on. At that time, I was doing these silly little cartoon faces. I found this old sketch pad in a trunk. The first 10 to 15 pages were all from 1979 to 1980 when I was 14 years old. So there's just stuff in here. A little spaceship, more spaceship stuff. I guess I was into spaceships when I was 14. But I look at these now, some of these I think are kind of cheesy, some I think are really cool. I was trying to figure out how to draw a Porsche. Um, others are great, others are not so great. But the important thing is you have a place to draw. The good, the bad, the ugly. You just leave it all in here whether it's finished or not. One thing you're not gonna see in here and I don't ever want you to have in your sketchbooks, don't X anything out. Don't cross anything out, all right? Um, it's just you. You do the best you can, and you learn from what you're doing, but don't scribble things out because you don't learn from that. All right, there are different types of sketchbooks. There are hard-covered sketchbooks. There's soft-covered sketchbooks. There are sketchbooks that have spirals They're on the, to hold them together. There's sketchbooks that are just bound on the back like a regular book. So you've just got to experiment with these a little bit and see which ones you like. This is uh, These books I bought when I was in art school because they're nice and big, so it's big for drawing. So I had a class on learning how to draw people. So I was doing, trying to learn how to draw people. And the bigger size like this made it a little bit easier for me to draw people because it was kind of life size. All right. Now, yes, yeah, some of these are not so good, but you're learning. You're keeping a record of all the stuff. I did, actually didn't do that. My teacher did that one, but I did that. So you're learning. So you're going to keep everything in here. Um, I think for most people, this is probably too big. The one I'm using right now is this size because I can put it in a backpack or actually I can actually put this in a big gallon Ziploc baggie. And if I'm going on a canoe trip, I don't have to worry about it uh, getting wet. But this is a hard bound. All right, so is this. This one's kind of cool. This was my last journal that I used. I've marked a couple of pages in here. Keep track of your life. Draw things where you are, what's important, what's pretty, things that drive you crazy. Now, one thing I do, uh, I do try to tell people, if you're gonna use it as part of a, uh, a diary or a journal kind of thing, don't write anything you mean in here. If you're really mad at your sister and she's driving you crazy, it's okay to write in here, my sister's driving me crazy right now, but don't go writing mean or hateful stuff in here because that doesn't do anybody any good, all right? So I put pictures of fish in here. Oh, there we go. This is when my son won the home run derby about five years ago. We were really proud of him. Silly little notes all over the place. It doesn't have to make sense to anybody but you, all right? So have fun with these. Uh, different sizes, this is a little bit smaller. One thing I did want to warn you about, if you go to bookstores, um, you can get a big sketchbook like this. I bought this sketchbook probably 15 years ago. And for me, mentally, there's something wrong with this sketchbook. Can anybody guess what it is? Take a look at this. There's something majorly wrong. It's too big. I am totally intimidated by this. It's like an inch, inch and a half thick of all this beautiful white paper. The book itself is gorgeous. I love this and it's a great size for drawing and sketching and all that. But it's so big when I open it up, my brain goes, oh, I'm never gonna be able to fill that in. That's just, that's too much, that's too big. So um, if your brain gets intimidated, go with something a little bit smaller. I went on Amazon 
Oh, let me show you something. This is funny. This is really, really, this is so old that the cover and stuff is falling off of it. This was when I was in college the first time around and I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to draw. I was also intimidated by this sketchbook. So the very first drawing I did in here was the fear of drawing. This is the fear monster that I drew in there. Um, as silly as that is, I drew it in there because this guy, this monster in my brain was trying to scare me away from drawing because I knew I was new at it and I was gonna have to learn a lot. And I knew my drawings probably would not be very good for a while and that can stop you in your tracks. Don't let that happen. So I put this monster in here to remind me that no matter how ugly the monster is, I am gonna keep drawing and try to get better and better and better. See, this is like a little cartoon drawing of where I went to college. So I also use this sketchbook too. Whenever you have ideas, like I like to build things and make things. So I have a little tiny sketch here. Um, this is either a fountain or maybe a marble run that I thought would be cool to build. So I designed it on here and I wrote down the supplies and stuff I would need. I was thinking about doing a mobile so I was doing little sketches about the birds and what kind of base I might have on it. So, and then I just kind of put thoughts and ideas. This is a fountain. I thought it would be cool, cool to build one day. So don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. Just put anything you can think of, design stuff, draw stuff, write the stories in here. Keep it like your journal, all right? Point perspective, point perspective. Um, yeah. So where was I? Oh yeah, what I wanted to show you guys was, this is what I recommend for you. If you are inspired by this and you think sketchbooks, artists, sketchbooks, journals, drawing together is a good idea, get with your mom or your dad. Um, go on Amazon, is probably the easiest place, but Michael's, most of the bookstores, supply stores will have them. Get an artist sketchbook. These all cost about, I don't know, five to seven dollars. They are kind of fun on the cover. When you open them up, this sketchbook belongs to, you would put your name and I'd put your mom or dad's phone number there. But look inside, it's just nice, big, white pages. This one's kind of cool because it has like little inspirations in the corner. Create your own sunshine, small steps every day. But this is just for you to draw in, all right? So this is one I really thought was cool. Um, this one, I like that one because it reminds me of the poor paintings that I like to do. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. All right, this one's got like a little box on it. And does that have a place for your name? No, so you would write your name and the date right there and a phone number. And then it doesn't even have to be every day, just whenever you want. If you got an idea, draw. If you're taking a trip somewhere and you're bored, get out a pen or a pencil and doodle, right? Oh, that reminds me of one other thing, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, sketchbook for girls. I don't know why this would have to be a sketchbook for girls, but they put it on there, maybe because it has hearts and rainbows on it, but a boy could totally use this too. And this book belongs to, right? So inside here, you just draw, you sketch, and when you fill it up, you say, Mom, Dad, will you please get me another sketchbook? Or, Mom, Dad, I have saved my $5, and I would like to order or get another sketchbook. What I was gonna show you was, whenever you get bored, um, and you can just get out your sketchbook and draw, or you could write a story. Look what I did in the back of mine. I had almost totally forgotten about this. So this is the back of my sketchbook right now. And in the very back, does this look familiar to you guys? Right? So um, when, sometimes when I'm sitting at the beach, and um, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't read a whole lot. I would rather be drawing. So if I'm sitting at the beach, I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. I do a scribble vision. So there's a scribble vision that I did back in just two years ago, 2018. Here's another scribble vision of this cool monster guy here. So I would just put scribble visions in the back and see what I can find. Oh, there's that cool, uh, there's a cool drawing there. Scribble vision. And I think somewhere I actually have a scribble vision that I haven't even finished yet. Yeah, so there's one I just did the scribble, but I haven't um, found what's hiding in there yet. And if you, there's an idea for a painting I want to do for a friend of mine, so I was just kind of sketching it out. So you guys, that's all I wanted to share with you. Summertime is coming up. Um, you're going to have a lot more time on your hands. You're going to be able to, um, you're probably going on some trips and things. So if you like art, you like drawing, you like kind of keeping track of your life, or even if you like just writing stories or keeping a journal, invest a few bucks. 
buy a book that you can use to have beats for use for yourself for all your thoughts and ideas and sketches in there and always save them and it's just nice because it keeps everything in one place all right you guys this was my lesson about artist sketchbooks if you like this idea ask your mom or dad to get one all right hey we've got a couple of more lessons coming up but i want you guys um i'm gonna go ahead and say it now to have a wonderful summer because things are going to be over the school year is going to be over before you know it all right bye you guys you're awesome